Lawmakers finally heading home after six grueling months that spilled over into a special session. The Senate adjourned yesterday, today so did the House, and in the last 30 days they've passed a new school finance plan, a string of Medicaid savings, a congressional redistricting map, and a bill to reform hurricane windstorm insurance. Now there was, of course, some legislation that did not survive, the so-called Sanctuary Cities Bill, which would have allowed police to question the immigration status of people they detain. That failed, and so did the anti-groping bill that would have criminalized invasive airport pat-down searches. Political reporter Josh Hinkle is with us now, and that last bill, perhaps the most controversial of the entire session. That's right, especially since the Senate decided to adjourn a day early. It left the House without many options. Members could either say yes or no to what the Senate left them to do with no chance for changes. I think that's very insulting, as insulting as the Senate sending this stupid bill over here in the damn first place. A bad taste in the mouths of House members from Senate leftovers. Playing gamesmanship between two chambers uh, is not the way to end. The anti-groping bill's sponsor, David Simpson, had one last chance, but a near impossible fight. God made these parts, and they're sacred, and they're special. And they should not be touched except under special circumstances. The same concern spilled over from the regular session when the bill initially failed. The first thing is going to happen is the terrorists are going to find a 95-year-old woman in a wheelchair to put C4 in her diaper and put her on the plane. Do you think the federal government is going to stop, cease and desist all their activities at Texas airports? It does not stop all pat-downs. Just the touching of private parts without reasonable suspicion. And for Simpson to bring it to a final vote on the last day of the special session? That would require a four-fifths vote of the membership of this body. Something members just couldn't muster, leaving outside supporters clearly upset. Am I about to be shot in the back of the head? <laughs> Not yet. Good. The defeat of this bill can be only laid at the feet of the leadership of this state. The defeat of the bill also meant after 170 straight days, lawmakers could finally go home for good. Oh, I'm so relieved that this session's over. House stands adjourned. All eyes are now on Governor Rick Perry. He said he wouldn't make a decision about running for president until after the special session. Today, he's in California meeting with potential donors, though no official word yet. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.